All right, I'm going to show you how to effectively use Google Tasks for managing your team. Go on ahead and open your internet browser. And I'm going to go, uh, you know, open up Gmail, go to mail.google.com, sign in, go to spaces here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new space. Now, this is where everything happens. So here's like some of our clients or other miscellaneous departments in our company. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new space, which is going to be added here. And this is where all the task management happens. So I'm going to add a new space. Okay, I'm going to call this test space. Test space. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, you can add a description, do all sorts of little things here. Um, and you can even allow people outside your organization to join. This is helpful. Um, if you're trying to interact like with your clients or maybe like independent contractors who not aren't who don't have um, an email address that includes your domain name. So what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add different people to my team and okay, I'm going to add those people and then I'm going to hit create. Okay. Takes a second and then everything is right here as far as anything that's happening in tasks or files is going to reflect here in chat and this is where my team and i can have conversations about certain things so um, i'm going to go over here to tasks okay i'm going to assign a task to um, i'm going to say send the report to the test client okay and i'm going to make a due date for the ninth and I'm going to assign that to Sydney. I'm going to hit add. Okay. Now that is going to show up right here um, in chat. There it is. And if Sydney had a question, if I was signed into Sydney's account, she could tag me at Joel. Let's say, well, that's not me, but I can't tag myself. Okay. That makes sense. Anyway, she's going to say, what the heck are you talking about, boss? That's what she's going to say. Okay, so that's going to happen. And then I'm going to respond, and we're going to have a back and forth about that. Now, that's the good thing about chat is you can have a lot of ongoing conversation about specific things. So if that, it keeps your conversation super organized. Um, so, for instance, like I can have like 100 tasks in here, and someone can go to chat and ask question ab a question about those specific tasks and usually what happens is out of those conversations come more tasks like hey before you do xyz make sure you do xyz so um this is a great way to keep everything organized you can also upload files so let's say we have like maybe the contract with the client or maybe we have certain uh, logo files from the client anything pertaining to the project can all be uploaded here for anybody who's in the space can now can access those files. So it's a super great way to keep things organized. I will say Google Tasks is a fairly simple software, um, but I'll get into that more a little bit later about why I like it and I, why I don't like it. Um, another thing you can do is you can click on Tasks over here and you can see all the tasks that have been assigned to you specifically. So sometimes, and here's the downside, it's easy to get lost in all these because there's no way to prioritize this list. There's no way to organize it. You can't alphabetize it. You can't do it based on deadlines. You can't do it based on really uh, anything, which is a big downfall for Google Tasks. But what I can do is I can go over here to Tasks and I can see all of the things assigned to me um, over here. And I can see, oh wow, I am two weeks late on that. I'm five weeks late on that. And sometimes I find tasks in here that I did already complete, so I just need to check mark them and then they disappear. Which, by the way, in tasks, I'm just gonna check mark that for Sydney and say it's done. Okay, so over here, tasks, great way to see all of your individual tasks. Spaces is a way to see everything going on with your team and their tasks. Okay, so another way to view your tasks is going ahead and open up your Google Calendar, okay? Calendar.google.com, everything's gonna show up right here. So I'm looking here and I can see my tasks for today, okay? Um, 
I have reminders toggled on, I have tasks toggled on, and I have my email toggled on. Um, I kind of remove all this other stuff just so I can see all my work-related things here. Right here, if I want to just see reminders, I'm going to look and just see reminders. Now, I don't have any reminders for today, so I'm going to look, change this view to month view, and I can see that in the month of, well, let's see, what's happening here? Why are my... Reminders. Oh, because I'm on reminders, not tasks. Duh. Okay, reminders are different than tasks. Keep that in mind. <laughs> so go to tasks, make sure tasks is toggled on, and now I can see kind of a bird's eye view of all the different tasks that I have going on with, with deadlines. So if I had like a bunch of tasks going on um, at the same time, I could kind of prioritize. Like let's say it's the 23rd. I'm like, oh, shoot, I have five tasks due by the 26th. So it's a nice way to view all your tasks in one place as well. Um, overall, I think that Google Tasks is great because it kind of, it, it, it's like everything in one place. Your email's in one place, the chat's in one place, uh, your, your spaces are in one place with all the, the chat pertaining to that space, your files, your tasks. It's kind of a nice way to have one application that does it all, and you can even use it on the Gmail app on your phone as well um, with the same, almost the exact same capabilities. Now, some downsides are it's very limited in, for instance, like organizing this. Um, when it comes to adding tasks, I can't add like a bunch of subtasks here. I can add subtasks over here, um, but like, it's not really good for managing a team if you want to like um, create website, okay? And I'm going to make that task. And then what I would rather do is have 20 subtasks here. And then when all those subtasks are done, then create website. You know, somebody clicks that to indicate that it's completely done. Um, so that's that's a limitation as well as not being able to organize here. But all overall, it being a free... Uh, application or it's included in Gmail or Google Workspace or G Suite, all those things, it's included, it's free. So overall, I think it's a great application. We're using it as a team and we're trying to make the most of it. Also, there's tons of extensions in the like the Google Play Store that you can add in to do special little um, functions, automations as well. So there's lots of things available there as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, best of luck in business.